Hello everyone, here's another edition of You Art With Me, and this is your orator, Eric, aka E-Ray. Hello everybody, um, first of all, I just want to um, give my uh, best wishes to everybody out there dealing with this pandemic, um, just anything that you have going on in your life that's rough, um, called the turmoil. I know it's a rough time for everybody, but I don't want to dwell on that. Hopefully, my art will take you to a place where you can um, kind of forget about that right now. And folks, I'm just having some uh, entertainment. Um, and then hopefully, my art will do something for you and uh, move you in a different direction. Um, it's a perfect time for people to start doing art. Um, if you're quarantined in the house, uh, this would be a great time for you to start trying doing something. Um, and, uh, you know, my heart goes out to all the medical uh, people working out there, all the people that's helping somebody else, just being humane and doing something human and helping our, our fellow human being. Um, you know, everybody, I just want to say everybody just be safe. Um, it's a crazy time right now. Um, take stock onto your loved ones and you know, friends and family, things of that nature, and, um, on a, on a, just, a, I'm just gonna begin, um, as you guys know, I've been on this series where I'm calling my large land mammal, or large, uh, land mammal animals, uh, why not, series, I'm gonna do seven, I've already done, uh, my first was the black rhino, then I did, I tackled, the. Uh, which ones I tackle next? I think I, oh, the, I tackled the moose next, North American new moose, and then I also did the Phrygian horse. Um, now I'm actually working on the uh, hippo, the African hippo. Um, uh, I kind of maybe got some inspiration from watching the Jumanji movie, the third one, and the hippo was like kind of like the first and second. Well, I think the se second and third one. Hippo would come out the water, excuse me, and it would attack, um, take a lie <laughs> from one of the uh, characters. So that was always kind of crazy. But um, just kind of taking reference, looking at some reference pictures of them, watching them move. And um, and this, this animal is very interesting. Um, I've never noticed the teeth uh, on the hippo. Um, they actually have kind of like a bottom tusk teeth, uh, a set of four. They have a top tusk teeth too. In this particular reference that I was uh, taking a picture of, I wanted, I want, I was looking for a reference piece where the mouth was open, and um, it, it's showing that big mouth. It kind of has like a kind of a T-shaped uh, mouth as it goes out. It kind of elongated, and then it kind of goes out into like a T form. Or what kind of how, how do I say that's for? Like kind of like a triangle form um, where it's nostrils and lower jaw and you have these tremendous tusks that they have these animals are, could be ferocious uh, if you're invading their territory or whatnot and uh, they're usually in a lot of water holes in Africa um, things of that nature um, so um, is this this kind of um, the lower mouth was kind of giving me some some issues. I was trying to get the form. Um, that's one of the things that I kind of, being a, a semi new artist, I don't have like. I mean, I can't say like, oh, I've been I've been drawing since a little kid. You know, I was inspired by my mom and whatnot. And um, uh, as I said in some earlier videos, um, she, I think she took some interior de uh, interior design and decorating type of classes. When I was very young, and uh, she would bring back her art material, and I remember she did this Tweety Bird, and uh, you know, being a young kid and Saturday morning cartoons, I come from that era, you know, those just kind of drew me into it. And uh, she, I seen it, I seen she did some perspective. I remember that it was like some kind of like uh, what they call those, um, those kind of like dome walkways. And she, she did like a couple of them with pillars. Um, so those are the kind of memories I have from being very young, maybe like six or seven years old, six, seven years of age, and whatnot. And, um, so 
um, as you see now, um, I posted some of my pictures on my Instagram and Lion Hair Circle. Um, if you feel free to go on there, I got a lot of my other art on there, uh, paintings that I did. I think after I finish this hippo, though, I think I might try doing a painting. I don't know if I'm going to put it on here because I kind of want to finish this series up. Um, with everything that happened, and I kind of took a little hiatus, but, you know, being at home a little bit more. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna start getting back focus. I've been doing a lot of sketches. I, I'm, I'm still doing the 30 days of sketches. Um, so I'm just posting them on my Instagram. My 30 days of sketches. Um, and please join, join into that, and um, post hashtag 30 days of sketching, uh, or uh, um, send it to hashtag line head circle 30 days of sketching, or you know just line head circle, uh, hashtag line head circle. So. And we can, you know, start showing me some of your stuff. And then maybe I'll do a video of you guys showing me uh, some of your stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to critique anybody's work. Uh, I'm far <laughs> from a person that would critique it. I'll just, you know, say, you know, this person did this. And I'll tell you the ones that I personally would like, you know, and whatnot. And uh, just whatever. Um, please subscribe as well. Um, you know, help, it'll help me out. And, uh. Give me some ideas, cause um, I'm looking for my next large land mammal. I'm kind of going between maybe like a a giraffe or I'm trying to think, a giraffe or some maybe an elephant. I know elephants are kind of like overly done. Everybody does the elephant or the lion, so I'm trying to think of that. Um, I know I did talk about doing. Um, uh, snow, a snow lion, or a bobcat, snow bobcat. I'm not still looking to that. Uh, maybe I'll do a big cat, one of the big cats. I don't want to do the, the, I don't want to do like the lion, or I don't want to do the tiger. Those, I feel that those two, are the large cat, uh, large cat, they're all, they're kind of overdone. So I want to kind of take on something that I, I, I haven't seen before. Um, you, you don't see, or you haven't just seen. Pretty much readily, you know. So I mean, that's that's kind of where I'm going. And you see here, like their teeth, you have those tusks at the bottom. They have two kind of tusks that kind of grow, uh, and they use, I guess, when they're, um, cause I think they, I believe they eat meat and veg vegetables, and so I mean, they they will attack you with those teeth. I think those teeth more for self defense. Um, and if you look at the top teeth, they have a row about you know, like these large tusk part, and then they have like these grinder teeth kind of going toward the back. And, um, but their teeth are kind of like broken a little bit on this particular, uh, you know, figure that I was, you know, taking, taking a kind of like a picture, verbal picture of or whatnot. And, uh, so, and you see me, I'm doing a lot of rendering right now. That the mouth started taking more shape. Um, I really suggest if you're starting, like a starting artist, or you know you just want to get better at your craft as being an artist, um, this really worked. For, I, I seen a tremendous change, like about a week uh, back in December or so. I was going to different parks and just drawing trees and drawing stuff like that, and like uh, there's a. Uh, there's a guy who teaches, I can't think of his name at this, at this point, but that was one of the things he said. He said, go and draw trees and draw tree trunks. and Because trees have all these different textures, and they have branches, and then you have one branch in front of another. So you want to, you have to make, uh, uh, have, you have to deal with line weight because, you know, it'll show, like give it a three-dimensional kind of look. So you'll have these type of things like that. So, I mean, it's, it's really, these and and it makes you think. I've been doing a lot of uh, been doing a lot of research on perspective. Also been doing some. Um, uh, been looking into doing uh, what they call hard surface designs. I want to start making kind of some spaceships, and I, I want to start making some scenery stuff uh, and do perspective and uh, uh, two point perspective and stuff. So I've really been digging into that as of lately as well. So I mean, I just haven't not not been doing work. I, 
artwork or whatever. I've been sketching every day and then just took a break from doing this hippo and then I'm like I just started kinda, you know, tonight I just feel inspired, just started doing it. And um and I'm kinda I'm really pleased of the mouth how it comes. And 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 even this is a dynamic perspective in which I have it coming coming out if you look at the mouth. And I, I didn't even realize it. I, I kind of did it too when I did the moose and I did uh, the horse. I'm, I'm actually doing the perspective uh, of how you're looking at it. I'm trying to change too, like which side is coming from. So like the horse, the, the horse I did where the face was going from upper, if, if you're looking, I guess, to be your upper right to your lower left. So in this one, I went from the lower left and went up right so I'm trying to get different pictures and stuff like that but again guys I know you guys hear that music and um, on this journey that we're taking and why not but yeah I, I had a lot of fun doing this particular piece I thought it was really great um, or you may not be hearing music right now. So, but yeah, I thought it was really great. A great piece, so I'm not. Um, it's coming along there. My next video, I'm going to try to fin up, fi finish up more of the rendering. And I'm going to put some more. Well, I, you know, of course, I always do um, my brush pen. Oh yeah, and I also want to tell you, uh, probably talk a little bit more on it on the next video, but I got a solution for maybe not so messy, having a messy uh, way of cleaning everything or, or putting more ink back into your ink brushes. Uh, I actually went to like Walgreens or something like that and asked for the little syringe that you would normally give for like kids taking like Tylenol medicine, babies or something like that. And they just gave it to me for free. Um, and I use that. Put it in my ink bottle. I, I have some of uh, what was it? Angelus ink. <laughs> um, and it has a little tip that you can actually put in there. And then you put the syringe, the needleless syringe in. And then you have the ink in there. And you can just fill it however much it takes to fill. It's kind of like a little uh, sponge inside of it. Just put it in there or not. Pretty good. But thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Be safe out there. I know uh, it seems kind of grim. Um, like I said, take stock in your loved ones. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Try to, we'll, we'll all make it through this, man. We're going to make it through. So I wouldn't even worry about it as much. But, you know, just, just take care. And uh, we're going to do what we can do for uh, people. But I do want to thank, again, our medical staff out there. Any, all the people that have been great and helping out. So, uh, you know, guys, guys be safe and be cool, man. And uh, try to, uh, you know, we're going to make it through this. You know, support people and, and whatever you can do. Uh, thanks again for watching so that you are with me. Um, you guys have been great. Um, subscribe. You know, send it to someone. Um, if you like my art. Um, pretty soon I'm probably going to start. Uh, I'm going to get them in, in the case and glass. And I'm going to put up these uh, uh, standouts on them and everything. And I'll show you a completed one pretty soon here. Maybe this weekend I'll probably get finished one. Bye.